Hello, and welcome back to our Investing Fundamental series for another episode. Again, I'm Miles McQuillan, a member in the private client group here at Gamco. Similar to our discussion last week, we are talking about the Coverdell Education Savings Account. As you know, education costs can be daunting, so it's important to utilize these savings vehicles correctly. I briefly mentioned the Coverdell account last week, but let's dive into the nuances of it. Simply put, the Coverdell Education Savings Account offers a tax advantage and flexible way to save for educational expenses. From a tax advantage perspective, contributions to the account are not tax deductible, but the earnings grow tax-free. To that end, withdrawals used for qualified education expenses such as tuition, books, room and board, and supplies are also tax-free. Therefore, the potential tax-efficient growth can significantly enhance the value of your savings, especially over a long period of time. Additionally, a main selling point of this plan is the flexible use of funds. Unlike some other educational savings vehicles, the Coverdell ESA offers flexibility in how the funds can be used. Qualified expenses are more than just college tuition, but also allow individuals to use the money for elementary and secondary education. Unique from the 529B plan, once the beneficiary reaches adulthood, they gain control of the account and ultimately the responsibility for managing their own education savings. There are also significant contribution limits associated with this plan. In 2024, the maximum annual contribution limit per beneficiary is $2,000, a quite modest amount. However, if you're diligent and consistent with contributions, the account can still generate substantial savings over time. And lastly, it is important to note that the covered LESA is not available to everybody as there are income limits for those who can contribute. Be sure to read more about these limits as the eligibility to contribute phases out for higher income earners. As always, contact your trusted representative or tax advisor on any of these dynamics, but hopefully this was a helpful high-level overview of a covered LESA. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week.